I find the natural world to be a very spiritual place. It's a place that you can go and lose yourself. And that often allows so many other thoughts to come into your head. And so many of them are inspirational. I would say most of my jewelry is inspired by the natural world. And it doesn't necessarily need to be literal. It could be very abstracted. And you may one day see a texture in my work and think, what is that? And it might have just been some, uh, you know, bark that I found. I also love seashells. I love driftwood, pagodas, petrified wood, rope, coral, honeycombs. You know, I love all nature's textures. So all of that somehow goes into my little brain and comes out hopefully as something pretty. I'm Mish Torkowski. I'm a jewelry designer, and welcome to my jewelry studio in Palm Beach, Florida. I got into jewelry design as a very young boy. Friends of my family had a really wonderful jewelry business that did every aspect of jewelry making. So I was there working on summer breaks, holidays, and it grew into a hobby, which I loved. And then from a hobby, it became a business. Right after college, I went to work for Sotheby's, which was my first job. And while I was there, the actually it was my coworkers and their moms at that time that started buying the jewelry. And it actually turned it into a business, which was very wonderful for me. When we were in New York City, uh, we moved from a beautiful studio that was a carriage house on the Upper East Side to downtown on Bond Street, which was this beautiful cobblestone street. Uh, and both of them were very special to us. And then we decided to move to Palm Beach and we moved to this beautiful space. Uh, and every time we moved, uh, we would always have clients say, oh my God, I can't believe you're leaving that space. It's so beautiful. And we never feared it. We embraced it. We were like, but the next space is going to be even better and we're gonna make it even more beautiful. And we love the fact that with each move, it gives us a moment of curiosity, a moment to reflect. It gives us new inspiration and all of that's channeled through to the jewelry. And with each move, we knew we'd make better jewelry. We consider this space to be a studio. Uh, it's where we design jewelry. Um, it's where all of our ideas are born, uh, where every piece of jewelry begins. So we don't think of ourselves as a store. Yes, people can come and shop and we show them jewelry, uh, which we do in a curated fashion. Someone comes in and sits down and we present them with jewelry that we think they may like and then we're able to either design something from scratch or we customize a piece of jewelry for them. Uh, it's a very special process for us, so we felt we needed a very special space to do it in. This building is incredibly special. Uh, first, it's a historic building. I'm also very involved with preservation and the Preservation Foundation of Palm Beach. Um, it's an Addison Meisner building, which was the architect that basically gave all of Florida its Mediterranean Revival architecture style. It was also the first department store in Palm Beach. So it became like this double whammy of goodness for us. So we love the building, we loved its history. I feel very lucky in life. I uh, live and work with Joseph. And you know, many people say, oh my God, I would never be able to work with my spouse. We always thought like, wow, we can't work without one another. We're very different and we have very complementary um, skill sets. Um, I work on all the designs, Joseph does the business, but Joseph being a former architect has an incredible sense of design. He's also strongly opinionated, <laughs> so uh, he will always put his two cents in and I always welcome it. You know, our New York shop was very tailored and um, had an Edwardian flair. When we came to Florida, one of the things we had to take into consideration was what we were going to do with the space. An overpowering inspiration that kept coming back to us over and over again as we were deciding what to do in the space was to do a personal reinterpretation of what a Palm Beach interior would feel like. Then we really wanted to look at it through a different lens, something personal to both of us. 
Um, so we think that we were pretty consistent in that vision. So when thinking about the studio um, as a place to sort of live and work, actually we spend way more time in the studio than we do in our own home. So uh, it's very important for us to feel like this is a home for us. Uh, so. Every room does have its own personality. Joseph is an awesome architect, so he laid out every room just to make sure that the flow was worked very, very well. And, you know, we really think of this space first for us. First, it has to be inspiring. It has to help us create beautiful jewelry. And whatever we can bring into those spaces, whether it's the Florida bird wall or all of my shells or all of the colored stones, somehow they have to all live together. But it's more important that the energy of all of this that comes together makes us feel great. Because that's also what we pass along to our client. It's that energy. When you come into the studio, uh, we sit you down and present you with jewelry, and you may find something you love instantaneously, which is always a joy for us. But then we can also customize things for you, which is a large part of our business. You may see a necklace that's peridot green and wish it was an aquamarine, and we are delighted to remake that piece of jewelry for you. It's much like a couturier would work, where you may see an outfit that you love, but it might not suit you completely. So we want to make that piece of jewelry perfect for you, and we're able to do that here. So when you come here and uh, we make a bespoke piece of jewelry for you, we always begin that process with a watercolor. Uh, it's a very beautiful depiction of exactly what the piece will look like. It's to scale, so even if it's a small piece of jewelry, it's tiny little watercolor on a piece of paper. And you could literally cut that out and put it on, hold it to your ear or pin it to your lapel and it tells you exactly what it is, color and size. Uh, I'm a color fanatic, so I absolutely love all gemstones, whether they're transparent, whether they're opaque. Um, sometimes people ask me, what's your favorite stone? And I go into sweats because I just love all of them. The brighter the color, the better. Fine jewelry is a very special art, uh, and also fine jewelry can be expensive. And I feel that if you're going to buy a piece of beautiful jewelry, it has to have the utmost workmanship. And that's what makes it really special. Um, having great design coupled with great workmanship makes a great piece of jewelry. Uh, and I think you should buy a piece of jewelry and have it forever. So it's important. The workmanship is essential to make something beautiful. When a client comes into the studio, I want them really to experience our world, which is why we really have a studio and not a store. You know, a store you come in and you look at things in cases that you might like. Um, here, you come in and we present you with things that we think you will love based on what you tell us. So if you say, oh my God, I love poppies, um, chances are we may have a, a poppy bracelet or poppy pair of earrings, but we might be like, wow, that's fantastic. I've always wanted to make uh, a poppy brooch or a poppy necklace. So we work with you to really help you think about what's your favorite thing. And then we guide them much like a sculptor would guide them and explain, you know, what you need to make that piece wearable. Pieces from scratch always have this genesis in what someone really loves. Um, and since we love the natural world and uh, often don't deal in sort of abstract principles, you know, it, it's very easy to communicate something that you like. I believe everything in life is interconnected. So how you dress, how you live, how you travel, I think all of it, you're like a big sponge and it sort of all comes together. And as a designer, you hope it comes out in the most beautiful way possible. <laughs>